Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Rosewolf. Today is January 3rd. <laughs> I wasn't sure what day it was and my pockets are full. You guys should have just seen through the magic of post-production editing all of the work I did yesterday afternoon technically um, in-game to ensure that we got it, or got, the, uh, the watering can which is so useful especially for, well I mean useful for our town at least. I don't know if anyone else thinks it's as useful as I do, I know there are a lot of people who really enjoy getting hybrids. I am one of them, so that's going to be a really main focus of this town. But as you can see, my pockets are kind of full. Um, we also have to donate um, at least one of these bees and the centipede that I caught. Okay, so uh, I want to sell... Let's see here, we can sell all these beehives. I'm pretty sure they sell for a decent amount as well, last time I checked. We donated a pill bug yesterday, and uh, we also got a striped bed from when I was shaking trees to find these bees. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't really want it. It's not really my style, I don't think, so we're just gonna sell it. All right, 10,000 bells? That's, that's not bad at all. <laughs> we should've done this yesterday. Anyways. So, plan for today. I didn't even do it because I was too busy talking about what I did. <laughs> check out our Boran spanking new house. Probably should check our mail also, might be an idea. And uh, get some chores done and get further to, um, to completing uh, the citizen satisfaction type thing, basically, so that we can uh, get going on public works projects and all those awesome good things. I'm very sorry about the noise though, you guys. I had to take a quick pause. My cat was being rather uh, frisky, I guess is the word. <laughs> he gets like that if I start recording. He thinks I'm talking to him. Anyways, we got a letter in the mail from uh, Red. Uh, Dear Cousin Crystal, Old Red wants to thank you for coming by Red's gallery and purchasing a very fine calm painting. This delivery completes your purchase. All sales final. Oh, alright, well, hopefully we bought the right thing. <laughs> We also got a letter from Poppy. Uh, Dear Crystal, I'm having a birthday party. Date is January 10th. Place? My house. Don't stress about what to get me for a present. I like pretty much everything. Okay, so that's very exciting. Our very first birthday party in Rosewood. That, or Rosewood. I'm so used to saying Rosewood. Okay, and we got a letter from Bam. Uh, to my pen pal and rival. Dig in your letters, lady bro. It makes my muscles twitch. You know what I do on rest days? I write letters and watch soap operas. Fierce. I'm off to run some laps. Stay fierce, Pierce. Or bam. I've almost said Pierce because I'm, I'm so used to uh, reading letters from him from a very old town of mine. So um, let's keep the letter from Poppy because I do not want to forget that. Um, unknown sender. I think I want to save that one. I'm kind of nostalgic for uh, story-based letters. <laughs> You'll notice I do tend to save a few of them. But we now have this calm painting, so before we do anything else, how about we go over to the museum and see if these are, uh, or at least donate the bugs and see if the, uh, the painting is real or not. <laughs> also, you guys, I am filming just a little bit later today. This video will be up probably rather late tonight. Um, I do want to stick to my promise of uploading the day I film, but that may be 
a little bit difficult when I film later episodes, which I do want to try and do since I want to, like, you know, go to the island at night with you guys and catch all the different bugs and fish, which, you know, aren't available at, like, 12 p.m. in the afternoon, so... Okay, let's see here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, make a donation. I'm so used to saying assess a fossil. <laughs> Will you take all of these? Because that would be awesome if you would. Yes. Okay, this is good so far. Oh, awesome! So I guess that painting was real. That's great. <laughs> I did not even look that up. Usually I have to uh, look it up because I'm, I'm terrible with that kind of stuff. I'm rarely certain about which is real and which is fake. But anyways, that's good to know. Um, how about we go in and talk to Nook since we got our, uh, our house, uh, finished. Somewhat. <laughs> welcome, welcome! Oh my goodness! It's Crystal! So good to see you, hmm? Your home has now been built, yes? What do you think? Your house is now the stuff of dreams. And now the numbers. I deducted that you're down payment, leaving a grand total of 39,800 bells. That's the total amount of your paltry little loan. A mere trifle, really, yes? Oh no, you don't pay me directly. Please make all of your payments at the post office ABD. And there's no set schedule either. Pay the loan off at your own pace or whenever you're able, hmm? One more thing. We do require that all homeowners become members of the Happy Home Academy. We'll just stop by from time to time to give your home an in-depth inspection. Very good to get one. The inspection is a comprehensive look at your room and furniture layout, your hygiene level, etc. If you're given high marks, you might even receive a wonderfully elegant commemorative prize. We'll schedule the inspection so there's nothing you for you to worry about. No worries at all. What else? Members, you see, also gain access to the Happy Home Showcase behind the shopping district. Uh, once you've received a letter that confirms your membership, you may visit the showcase at any time. Very good. Please do come see me if you wish to further uh, discuss further renovations. So, <laughs> I just want to point out, he doesn't even give us the option. Anyway, let's see. I We don't really have that much money. We're going to make money quite quickly, but... I don't- I'm so tempted to go with the layout I usually go with. Let's- Can I have this? <laughs> How much is it? Ooh. You know what? We're just gonna- we're just gonna do it, guys. We'll make a lot of money, don't you worry. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. No, I know exactly how to get quite a lot of bells in this game. I hope you guys, uh... Will maybe, uh, learn something from watching me if you don't already know. Some of you guys are- a lot better at this than I am, so... <laughs> um, let's see. Actually, no, no. I should probably put the uh, the letters away in my storage, but we can do that a little bit later. Let's check out what the shops have today, and then we'll go do chore type stuff. A little bit backwards, but that's okay. Oh, look, it's the striped table that would have gone with the striped bed we got. Um, once again, I don't think I'm going to get a Nintendo room, so I'm not too fussed on that. And if we do, we'll do it later. It'll just clog up our storage before we have the uh, the added rooms for uh, storing that kind of stuff. I haven't exactly decided what type of interior furniture and, and design and stuff I want yet. I have like a few furniture sets that I always go to, and I feel like I should kind of stray away from that a bit. <laughs> okay, hello there, Sable. I just can't let my cross my claws stray from all this work. I'm sorry. See, alright, she's opening up to us a bit. That wasn't such a bad response. Oh, let's talk to him. Hey, Crystal. Getting size for some new sweatpants? Can I help you with? Ah, uh, let's chat. I wonder if I can find the kinds of clothes that I like. The ones that absorb the most sweat. <laughs> Ew. That's lovely, bam. Oh, boy. I noticed that when they're in a shop, villagers just tend to talk about the shop. They don't really want to talk to you about anything else. Uh, I don't really like any of this either. I feel like I'm being really picky, but I want my character to look semi-decent because I rarely change clothes in this game. I find one outfit and I stick to it. Okay, 
let's uh let's quickly head around see if we can find fossils uh money rock etc i doubt it would be that rock again <laughs> but uh no harm in checking oh good our peaches are uh, are growing that's perfect i know somebody in the comments mentioned earlier i believe today maybe it was posted yesterday and i only read it today um that they didn't know about the whole uh, doing little kind of quest type things for Isabel. Uh, so they ended up getting themselves some uh, non-native fruit, which is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm, that's the kind of stuff I want with this Let's Play. I want people to learn things that they might not have already known about the game. Uh, what's the latest, Pappy? Hey Crystal, one of the first things you should do is get yourself some tools. I'm talking about a net for catching bugs and a fishing rod for catching fish. You can sell rare bugs and fish for a lot of money at retail, so you should catch yourself some. Let's see. What else would you need? Oh yeah, you'll need a shovel too. When you look at the ground, sometimes you'll see marks that look like this. <laughs> I like how there's just- you never see that anywhere else in game, I'm pretty sure. It's just there that you see that little star icon. <laughs> if you dig this up with a shovel, you might find something rare. You can find all kinds of tools at the Nookling Junction on Main Street. You can do lots of different stuff with the right tools, so I'd recommend getting some soon. Well, I mean, that's the other thing, Poppy. We just got all of our tools that we're gonna need for the next little while. The only thing we're really missing is the slingshot, and I really don't do the slingshot or balloon present things very often, other than uh, getting the golden slingshot and silver, so <laughs> don't really need to worry about it. Um, beyond doing chores today, though, I think we're gonna start talking to Isabel about citizen satisfaction. And then beyond that, I also want to, uh, gather up all the flowers in town, see what species and breeds and stuff we have to work with. And then we'll, uh, we'll get going on, on trying to breed some hybrids. Nothing there. Also, by the way, you guys, I used to remember checking uh, the board every day in the older games because you didn't really have a good way to tell if there was anything new written on it. But in this one, if there's something new written on it, there'll be a bird during the daytime and an owl during the nighttime uh, on top of it. And they'll fly away when you get close. So you can usually tell if there's something new. <laughs> okay, if you're wondering, by the way, why I keep tilting my camera up, I know a lot of people got... A little bit confused when they saw me doing that during the live stream. I'm looking behind trees for the dig spots. <laughs> I find it much easier than, uh, I don't know, circling around, I guess. Oh, nope. <laughs> that is our, that's our pitfall. Did not want to dig that up. <laughs> oh, nearly missed that the first time. The lighting is not working in our favor. Usually it's easier to find stuff in the winter, like, uh, buried items, but... That, for some reason, that spot was not, uh, not that visible to me. Okay. I haven't exactly decided what type of flowers or whatever to go with. I think we may just do, like, every single flower just so I can show off hybrids of every species. But, uh, we'll see how that goes. Ah, uh, wanna chat, Wolfgang? Oh, hey, before I forget, I'd like you to see something. Oh. See my new outfit? I got it via mail order. What do you think? How well does it fit me? Uh... Eh. I guess. Oh, you think it looks okay on me? Yeah, it's not bad, am I right? Well, I'll just keep wearing it then. Oh gosh. <laughs> what have I done? Ah, I bought another outfit today. Here, you can have this. Before, uh, er, I know, it's your housewarming gift. Go ahead, put it on if you think it'll look good. Oh, please be something good. I'm kind of sick of looking like a candy cane. If you feel like you look good wearing anything, you should... So you... Wait. I feel like you'd look good wearing anything, so you should try it. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, he's gonna... Give us a little bit of a tutorial here. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's see. Is it good? Eh. I'll, I'll stick to Candy Cane, I think. Thank you, though, Wolfgang. What, why are you beeping? What have I done? Oh gosh, I did a lot. Get in the business of snowman construction by rolling- Oh! That means we can complete everything today, that's awesome. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's, let's let that be our goal for today. Oh, 
We already have ones that are wilting. Oh. Oh no! Gosh darn it. I didn't think it would uh, fly away. That was a dung beetle, if you guys are curious. It was rolling the snowball ever so closely to that, uh, to that little pond, trying to ruin our plan. Oh, and... Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> I missed. Here is the final fossil. So we got all four today. That is awesome. I don't know what happened yesterday, but... <laughs> there we go. That's perfect. Okay, so... How about we work on that snowman real quick? Since we know where one of the snowballs is, at least. We can uh, we can put it next to the town hall. I think that'd be kind of cute. Depending on where the other uh, snowball is, that is. So... There we go. Just gonna make sure this is the biggest size, because I think that's what happened yesterday. The lower snowball was not as big as it could be, therefore it turned into Snowboy uh, instead of the snowman. <laughs> so that was that was kind of awkward. There we go, nearly there. But, uh, yeah, you guys, thank you very much for all your feedback and support in the comments. It's really, really been, uh, good to talk with you guys about this, this type of stuff. And I've been wanting to do this for so long, as I've said so many times by now. Um, for the first few episodes, I think I'm probably gonna be filming this, if not every day, then every other day. And it's gonna be quite frequently uploaded. And then as I get uh, a little bit more into the town, as I get it more off of its feet, um, I'm going to um, start doing scheduled uploads where you guys will know exactly what days I'll be uploading this. And um, the videos will not be quite as long as they have been. They will still be a good, you know, 30 minutes average length, but uh, not as long as these ones will be. So <laughs> just, uh, just bear with it, you guys. Hello there, Flora. Uh, what's the latest? By the way, where's your house, Crystal? Ah, uh, just over there. Really? That's great, I'm glad you found a nice place. Well, no matter where your house is, don't worry about your mail finding you. Hey, maybe I'll send you a letter sometime. I love getting mail. You can buy stationery at the store on... at our... wait, at the store on our main street. Okay, there we go. Then, once you've written a letter... Okay. Tutorials. There we go. They, they have a lot of information to give you right at the beginning of the game. Ooh. Still don't have a slingshot though, unfortunately. Okay, where where is this, uh, this other snowball? I don't think I s Oh no wait, I did see it. It was by the plaza, wasn't it? Suddenly I'm remembering. <laughs> I believe, at least, it was up here, wasn't it? And... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, was I wrong? Was I just completely not remembering correctly? Could you get off the wall, please? Oh, gosh, I hate it when they do this. There we go. That's better. All right, so we don't want this one to be too big. But we still want it to be big enough so that we can roll it over that bridge. <laughs> Okay, why are there two trees here? Can we not, you guys? I really need an axe to cut down some trees, especially close to the bridges for some weird reason. Flora, get off the bridge. Move, go. Go on. Off. Off. There we go, thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go, that was the hardest part of making snowmen in Animal Crossing on the GameCube. It was impossible to roll them up hills or uh, across bridges. <laughs> oh. Was that moving by itself? I can't tell. I think it was just me. No, it wasn't, you sneaky little... <laughs> okay, let's let's make this snowman. There we go. Oh, good, we got the perfect one. And a solid stability period from uniting the two. 
I'm so pleased. Observe, I am the perfect from every angle. As a token of appreciation for you making me so wonderful, let's play a game of bingo. What? You say you're without a bingo card? Then I, Snowman, shall bestow upon you a bingo card. Uh, thanks? Well then, here is the bingo card. We can only give you one, so please do not lose it. Well, shall we get the bingo game started? Alright, so let's put this one in the center. Start spinning. Alright, so when I was playing this most recently in Rosewood, I got all the way up to a four-way nearly bingo. So I could have had bingo four times, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, is 48 even a number? Oh, it is. There we go. It's not bad. Okay, there we go. So there's that done, so that should be all of our... Yeah, all of our things done for today. That's awesome. Six. That's, that's great. We're well on our way to getting more and more Meow coupons, which is good in case we want to buy something from the campsite. So, speaking of the campsite, let's go check it out real quick. There usually isn't anything I want up here, but you never know. Um, you're Pave. No. Are you Pave? I'm not sure. What's this? Basic display stand. Uh, okay, so yes, we use meow coupons here, as I was just saying. Uh, I don't know if I really want that. I mean, it would be kind of cool to put our trophies on it, eventually. But, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? I'm Harvey, the camp host here, yep. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother reading his dialogue, though. We're not really gonna talk to him terribly much. Oh, no, you're, uh, you're Franklin. <laughs> oh, I like that fridge. I want it. It's mine. Give me, that is so cool. Eh. Uh, let's see. Oh no, I have that. I don't really like that one. But I like this. That's cool. And it's only for three coupons? Yes, please. Um, do we want anything else? Pancakes? And a plant. No, I think we're good. <laughs> Alright, oops. You can also honk the horn to scare him, but... Oh yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> Alright, excuse me, Franklin. Okay, um, let's go hand in the fossils next, I guess. And then we can talk to Isabel about uh, citizen satisfaction and all that. Also, we still haven't spoken to, I think, Willow today, right? And there's also Pajmina, the, I believe, sheep? Or goat. I, I know it's one or the other, <laughs> who, uh, who moved in technically yesterday, but officially here today. So we should probably go introduce ourselves and say hello. Okay, so that's a fossil. So pretty much I find from usually day three or four playing onward, as long as I get the fossils every day, this is around where I might start to get one or two that are duplicates, usually, so we'll see. I really don't actually want duplicates right now, I'd rather get it done. Oh good, all of them, perfect. See, how hard would it be to put in a menu right there being like, do you want to donate these? Oh, we have two, uh, Peking, I hope, I think that's how you pronounce it, man, so let's just not take one of them. Or not donate one of them and take them. We can, uh, we can sell it in a little bit. Or usually one of my villagers will ask me for my fossils, which is kind of awkward. They don't look good in their houses, but I always say yes anyway, because, uh, I hate saying no to them. <laughs> there we go. Um... 
so we have... We don't want to sell that. We do want to sell that, and... That should be about it. Okay, so let's uh, let's put this stuff away in storage. And for those of you who are not aware, and I'm going to assume most of you are, but just giving the benefit of the doubt here, um, if you're new and you do not yet have storage, you can access all of your storage in this uh, little cover right here. So that's what we're going to be using for the next little while until I find a storage container of some sort to put in my uh, my house that I actually like. <laughs> and uh, no promises on that. It may take me a little while to find one. <laughs> Okay, so we've spoken to Floor, we've spoken to Wolfgang, we've spoken to Bam, and we have spoken to Poppy. So we want to go say hello to Willow and Pajmina. Ah, see? Goat. Knew it. <laughs> Goat or sheep. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Pashmina. And you are? Oh, wow. I've heard about you, Crystal. You're the one of the reasons I moved here. Yeah, I heard you were making Roosevelt the place to be. I pretty much had to move here because of what people are saying about your potential. Well, that's kind of cool. Anyways, we can't really talk or do much with her today since she's, uh, I'm gonna use the term in boxes. That basically means she's in the transition of moving in, or alternatively, in the future, uh, in boxes could also mean moving out. Um, so, uh, yeah, we can't really do anything with her until tomorrow, then she'll be able to walk around town and, uh, we can talk to her and do little stuff with her and that kind of stuff. So, let's go say hello to Willow, if Willow is home, which she is. Well, if it isn't Crystal, welcome. Why do you like to talk about Crystal? Ah, uh, let's chat. That reminds me, have you read the bulletin board today? The one next to the train station? Uh, yes I have. Good for you, you'll always know what's going on if you read that board, Crystal. I plan to wander over there later to get the latest info. Oh, and did you know that when birds perch on it, there's new information? What was I telling you guys, like, what, ten minutes ago? It must be real busybodies, don't you think? It's so strange that there's, like, bird villagers, but then there's, like birds, you know what I mean? Or like, there's the hamster villagers, but there's also the hamster in the in the hamster cage. Just awkward. It, it gets awkward when you think about it. <laughs> okay, so. Up next, I think, we should drop by retail, sell this stuff, and then we will go finally talk to, uh, talk to Isabel and see what we can start doing about, uh, about getting our citizen satisfaction up, because that is our main goal right now. Ah, uh, I want to sell, please. Alright, not very much, but it's, it's, t it's fine. <laughs> we don't really need all that much money in the beginning like yes we should be paying off our house loan but we do not have to do it immediately so there's really no uh no rush i guess okay let's go uh let's go up to the town hall Uh, let's talk about citizen satisfaction. You are not how satisfied the citizens of Roswell are. Here in Roswell, we believe that citizens deserve to be heard. That's why we've established a committee to gauge the needs of the population. So, without further ado, here are the results of the latest survey. I think it can only go up from here. So far to go. Citizens also say they feel there isn't enough greenery around Roswell. 
They want more plants in the town. The fate of Rose lies in your hands, Mayor Crystal. I just know you'll do us proud. All right, well, that was that's more to do with um, getting the perfect town, so that wasn't exactly what I meant. I think I had to sit here, I guess. Hi, Mary Crystal. Let me guess, you'd like to work on the application for your town development permit. There we go, that's what I wanted. Hold on, let me explain the prerequisite for the permit. The first requirement is that you own a house in town. Since you already own a house, you're all set there. Okay, the second requirement for the town development permit is to gain the approval of the citizens. Yes, yeah, see, this is where I was getting confused. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey the townsfolk to see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of those who live here. Now, according to the preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 32%. The law requires that all applicants have a 100% approval rating, so let's make that our goal. Talk to me from your mayor's chair anytime you want to know what your approval rating is. I can also give you advice on how to raise your approval rating. That's all there is to it. Good luck, Mayor Crystal. Okay, so approval rating. Basically, what I've always done in the past to really just get it up there really quickly is um, always talk to your villagers, always be friendly, always do their favors for them. Uh, next thing is to fish up garbage and uh, take it into retail. And the next thing I think, also just keeping it clean, not putting garbage on the floor and uh, being good to your flowers sort of thing, I believe. <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, skeptical on that last one, but, uh, but we'll see. Also, another thing that you can do to really boost it very quickly... Can I pick this up or will it just destroy it? No, it destroys it. Okay. Um, good to know. Um, is to, uh, change the town flag and also change the, uh, the town tune. So I'm not exactly sure what I want the town tune to be, unfortunately. Um... I was thinking maybe the intro for the series, but I'm not exactly exact. like, I don't know, I'm not really musically inclined, I don't know exactly how to do that. Um, but that's the only thing I can really think of beyond, uh, beyond that. And then also, in Rosewood, I have the Simply Press Start channel logo as my flag, so I don't know if I want to do that here or if I should do something else, I'm not really sure, so... Uh, for sure, leave a comment down below if you guys have any ideas or suggestions. I will leave that up to you until next episode, and uh, we'll see we'll see what we've come up with by then. But uh, right now, I'm just going to collect a bunch of the flowers and sort of start um, what's the word? I guess organizing them almost into their specific uh, breeds and stuff, just so I can know where everything is, sort of keep an eye on it. I think we'll use this area down here for that. It's just, it's empty. There's nothing really here. So, let's start with roses, because <laughs> what am I known for, right? Um, if possible, I would love to breed those two white roses for some purples, but we'll see how that goes. And also pansies. That would be awesome to have different colored pansies. Different colored all of the flowers, to be honest. <laughs> And we also have tulips. I'm kind of planting them, by the way, in this formation, because if you have watched my hybrid guide, insert shameless plug here, um, you should know that, uh, basically, um, oh, you know what? I should probably put a yellow. No. Yes. No. Maybe. Eh? Yeah. No, yellow here. <laughs> um, uh, planting them in a uh, diagonal rather than horizontal or vertical layout is just ten times better for increasing your chances of spawning a hybrid. So uh, that's what we want to focus on. Actually, you know, I'll water these once we've collected all of them. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think it'll be a really nice, uh, ooh, weed. I think it'll be a really nice change of pace for me to finally be able to work with flowers that aren't roses. <laughs> it has been so long, and it's so refreshing to go to your guys' towns, um, in visiting your dream towns and see flowers that aren't just, you know, your standard rose. <laughs> How many more spaces? I have three left, okay. 
So we'll drop these off and then we'll, we'll go to the upper portion of town and pick up the ones there, I think. Okay, so I picked up some roses there. Now, of course, this is not where they're actually going to end up or anything like that. This is just uh, me organizing them, knowing where everything is sort of thing. Oh, and we also have some tulips here. Two yellows, I believe. And I think this is a pansy. No, a Cosmo, right. Which we don't have any others of. All right, let's head up then, shall we? But uh, yes, for sure eventually I do would like to really have a hybrid of every single flower in the game, including gold rose and blue rose. Should be fun getting again. Um, lesson learned from last time, for sure get the gold roses early. As early as possible, actually. Um, another thing I'm going to have to be wary of is I don't want to breed too many hybrids too fast, just because we're only going to have... Uh, our single little watering can that can only water one flower at a time and we will not have the beautiful town ordinance for just a little while, so <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Once we get that though, I think that will be the ordinance we'll be sticking with just because in my towns I prefer to have lots and lots of flowers and I don't want to really water them by hand every day. <laughs> Let's see here, two more. Do I see another one? Oh, yes, here we go. Alright, so there are a few more up here, but I can always go grab them later. So I think I picked up some roses there. Did I? Oh, maybe not. My bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Put down a yellow here. Put down, I guess, a red. Oops, that's a little bit too far, I think. There we go. And another yellow. And another red. <laughs> Okay, so these uh, cosmos may have to move over just a little bit, but that's totally fine. Oh, no. Wrong spot. <laughs> so I am hoping to have at least a couple hybrids by tomorrow. We'll see how that, you know, plays out. <laughs> um, no promises, basically. If I could, I would, but that isn't always, uh, isn't always possible. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do some watering here. This is gonna take a while. I forgot <laughs> how, uh, how small, I guess, the little watering can is. I'm so used to my gold watering can by now, you know what I mean? But that's totally fine. We'll get there. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, though, I think, uh, once again, between episodes, I may work just a little bit on getting the, uh, citizen satisfaction, approval, rating, whatever it is, up to 100, or not up to, getting close to 100, at least. Um, I will not go fishing without you guys. I want to do that with you guys on camera so you guys can see what type of fish we can catch this time of year, etc. Um... So that will probably be after chores in the next episode, which I'm not sure if that will be tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. Um, but pretty much off camera, I may just be uh, working with the villagers, doing whatever little chores or tasks they have for me. 
that kind of stuff. And there we go, last, last rose. So, let me really quickly go water the, uh, the wilted ones, because I would like to save them if possible. At the very least, in, uh, in New Leaf, they actually show you when you watered a flower. Because I remember in previous ones, it was kind of hard to tell if you hit the flower or if you hit the ground. And there wasn't, like, a dripping animation, so you couldn't really tell if you got it or not. And it was kind of frustrating. <laughs> was there one up here, or am I just making things up? Okay, I think I was making things up. <laughs> oh well. But anyways, you guys, I think this has been a really good, uh, good inroads on the town today. We got our our new house kind of unlocked. Uh, we have more more loans to pay, of course. Uh, we have Pashmina who just moved into town. We're working on our citizen approval rating, and uh, we have the watering can. We actually have all the tools we're gonna need for a while, and uh, we worked on uh, on our hybrids for the first time. So I think I am gonna call it here. Thank you very much for sticking with it. Your viewers still here. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time.